So today I am reviewing the new EG4 indoor wall mount battery that you see right here. And this is probably my new favorite battery. It's 48 volt lithium iron phosphate chemistry. So it's safe, has dual fire arresters on it just in case. It is 14.3 kilowatt hours total in this one battery. It's built to be cycled 8,000 times. That's running this battery down once per day for almost 22 years. And it should still hold about 80% of its total charge capacity at that time. Now it's rated for indoor use only, so it's not rated to be protected from the elements outside like direct sun, rain, but it does have internal heaters inside here as well that automatically turn on when the temperature gets below 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And once it gets above 41 degrees Fahrenheit, it'll automatically turn those heaters off. Now just one of these batteries on a system is rated to be discharged at 200 amps continuously. That's a little bit more than 10,000 watts. And you can charge this battery up at 100 amps. So that's about a 5,000 watt continuous charge. Now if you want more than that, you can buy another one of these batteries, put them in parallel, and then all those numbers double. And I would recommend you get two of these batteries. That puts you right at almost 30 kilowatt hours if you're going to do a whole home system where you're expecting to be off grid most of the time. I'll have a link in the description of this video where you can pick up this battery and you can also use the discount code unplugged Texan to get $50 off it as well. Now the bus bars on this thing are rated to handle 600 amps. So you can put three of these batteries in parallel with no problem. So for those of you who like an easy installation with no external bus bar on the wall, this is the battery for you. Now it comes with a 10 year warranty and has all the certifications that we've come to expect from a quality battery. It has selectable closed loop communications with Solark inverters, EG4, GrowWatt, Megarevo, LuxPower, and Dai. Now this battery is priced very close per kilowatt hour to the inexpensive EG4 LifePower 4 batteries. But the LifePower 4 batteries, I tend to stay away from. That's why you haven't seen me review them on this channel. Because if you wanted to put them in closed loop communication, you have to do, you have to flash the firmware update on all the batteries. You have to mess with dip switches. It's a very complicated process. So I've just stayed away from that on that. So I'd rather go with just a plug and play type of battery system. And this is now priced right near the EG4 LifePower 4 batteries. So I highly recommend just getting these instead. Now this battery is priced at $3,341 right now. And that's $229 per kilowatt hour. The LifePower 4 batteries are priced at $224 per kilowatt hour. So to me, it's a no-brainer to pick up this battery at just $5 extra per kilowatt hour over the LifePower 4 batteries. And especially since if you did buy the LifePower 4 batteries, you're going to want to either build or buy their server rack to put them into. And that server rack can be about $550. So clearly, this doesn't need a server rack to be put into. So, so when all said and done, this is probably going to come out cheaper. Though you do want to put a conduit box. They do sell a conduit box you can put right on top of this thing to make these connections safe so they are covered. And I'll link to that in the description of this video as well. Now this battery is 36.4 inches tall. It's 18.1 inches wide and it's 9.6 inches thick. So for how much storage you get at 14.3 kilowatt hours, this takes up a pretty small footprint. Now it weighs in at 282 pounds. So it is pretty heavy. But I am not that big of a guy, and I was able to lug this thing around myself, kind of shimmy it around. And they have these ropes also that come on the top and the bottom that really helps you to lift it up out of the box. But I was able to easily move this around with just a small hand dolly. Now, obviously, if you look at the name, it is made to be able to hang on the wall. Now, this thing is so heavy, I'm just going to sit it underneath my inverter, actually right next to my EG4 LL server rack batteries, and it's not going to fall over. Now this ships in a crate that is incredibly strong. It took me like 30 minutes just to undo all the little metal tabs to be able to open the top of this crate to get this battery out. I mean, this thing is, it's packaged so well, they literally could drop this out of a C-130 via a parachute and it'd land on the ground and still be fine. So I don't think you're ever gonna have any issue with opening this thing up and it being damaged inside. So this new indoor wall mount battery paired with the 18 kPV inverter by EG4 is a match made in heaven. If I had to do my entire system over again, I may have went that route. The bang for your buck with that combination is hard to beat. You could buy two of these EG4 indoor wall mount batteries and then pick up the EG4 18 kPV inverter. And the total cost would be about 
$11,760. And that's before any federal tax incentive. All you need to do at that point is add solar panels, some disconnects, and you're ready to go. And with two of these batteries and the 18 kPV inverter from EG4, you'd have about the same size system that I do right now in the videos you see me post in the past on my system. Now, if you think that combination of this indoor wall mount battery and the 18 kPV inverter from EG4 is the right combination for you, I put together a wiring schematic PDF with the 18 kPV with this wall mount battery. And it has all the equipment I used with links on where to purchase them, all the installation stuff I used, wire, conduit, breakers, disconnects, I mean, down to little connectors that I used. So everything I needed for that install is in that PDF. You can download that for free at 18kpvdownload.com. And also in that PDF, I have a chart of all your common appliances that you'd have inside a house how many watts those use on average. So you can kind of do your own calculations on how long your battery bank will last overnight. And I've also have battery tips in there on how to extend how long your batteries are gonna last overnight by when to run which appliances. Now, another great thing about this EG4 indoor wall mount battery is I can parallel it. I talked to tech support on this and they said I can parallel it with my EG4 LL server rack batteries. So I'm gonna add this right to that system. Now they did say that I would have to have at least 15 kilowatt hours of these EG4 LL batteries, which that would be three of them since they're each a little over five kilowatt hours each in order to parallel one of these. So then I'm assuming that if I have six of these EG4 LL batteries, which I do, which totals 30 kilowatt hours, that I can put two of these in parallel with it and connect that to the EG4 18K PV inverter or my Solar 15K that I also have. Well, make sure to subscribe to this channel to be alerted when I do release those videos upcoming here on this battery and also make sure to like this video as it does help the algorithm get this out to a wider audience well that's it for now everybody i really appreciate you watching and we'll see you in the next video